Hello everybody, uh, Trey Ratcliffe here. I'm sitting in my hotel room in Hawaii uh, editing photos. And normally I edit photos out of my Sony or Hasselblad, but in this case, I'm editing a photo from my Pixel 2, all right? And I wanna run it through Aurora because I, I made an attempt to edit it on the phone and it came out okay, but super grainy. And the number one feature I wanna show off today with Aurora is the denoise feature, which is amazing. And to me, the greatest thing about the denoise feature is you can have different levels of noise reduction in different parts of your photo. So only use noise reduction in the areas that you need it. Okay, let me show you, for example, what happened here. Okay, so this one I edited on the phone. Okay, and it looks okay. You know, when you're on a tiny phone, you're like, that looks pretty awesome. But then when you zoom in, you get close, and you're like, hmm, a little bit of noise in there, not looking too swift, right? A bit amateur, a bit bush league. Okay, so what I did instead is I actually used my phone to sync to Lightroom that gets it back to my computer. That's a longer story. Um, I have the how-to. We just released a Pixel 2 review that you might want to see uh, on the website. I'll put the links down in the description. Um, but anyway, I got the original photo back here. So I thought that we would edit this together, and I'll show you how you can do selective denoise after you kind of HDR it up, okay? So this is the basic photo. And already, as I zoom in, you can see a little bit of noise there. The Pixel 2 is actually really good in the dark, but it does add a little bit of noise, but we're going to get rid of that, okay? So let's pick up this file, and we're going to drop it into Aurora. Okay, I'm going to turn on tone mapping here and say create HDR. All right, here's the result. You can see there's a little bit of an effect here, not much, because I checked tone mapping. Uh, but typically, whenever you add any kind of HDR effect, it does exacerbate any noise. But we're going to fix that. Okay, so step one, let's crop it in, okay? Let's make it more about the actual scene. Uh, see all this kind of boring blue stuff up there? Mm, that's not really where the action's at. So don't be afraid to crop into the most interesting part. I mean, just because you were there and you captured all this stuff, why not get it all? Okay, so see this little black part over here? I don't really like that. It's a bit uh, dark. Yeah, it's a bit too much. Um, again, don't be afraid to crop your own images. I mean, sometimes it's can be a bit violent. It feels like, oh, I shouldn't really crop it. But just get into like the most interesting part of the photo. Okay, so I'll say done. Um, my next step is before I do any kind of uh, repairing of the the bad part, the noisy part, I'm going to try to make it look as beautiful as possible. Okay, so I'm going to do a little HDR enhance right here, a little bit of smart tone. That's good. It looks pretty good. Okay, there are major noise problems, usually in the darker areas is where the noise happens. So I'm going to make a new layer here, plus new adjustment layer. I'm going to go down here to HDR denoise. Okay, so I'm going to increase the amount, increase the smooth, and the boost. Okay, this gets rid of just everything. Okay, it makes it super duper smooth. Okay. And now you can see the whole thing is just like a little ridiculous. It feels like it's uh, like Vaseline on the lens, like a Barbara Walters interview. But we're not going to do it that extreme, okay? One of the best things about layers is you can turn on this brush, okay? And I'm going to slow it down a little bit here. I'm going to change the opacity down to like 33%. Um, now, as soon as I click, the kind of original photo will come back. And as I brush, anything that seems too extreme I'm just going to keep brushing over it until I see the noise disappear. Okay. I have uh, I have daughters, and uh, I have one that's uh, nine and one that's twelve, and they just sit there and they just brush their hair. You know, I'm not, I'm a guy. I don't really brush my hair like that, but they just keep brushing their hair until it's all smooth. So that's what I think of this like. Like if I had long flowing hair, like uh, like Fabio or Scott Kelby. Um, I'm kind of picturing this is what they do with their hairbrush. Um, so it's nice because if you remember, like the other one was like totally washed out and like super blurry with no definition. But here you can just lightly go over anywhere there's a little bit of noise and just kind of selectively do it. Maybe get right there, um, down here on the horizon. I kind of like this dark horizon. It really forms sort of a, a statement like this. This is the horizon. Oh, there we go, looking pretty good. Put it up here in the corner, smooth that out. So if you want to see where I just brushed, you can kind of see here, 
kind of everywhere, but I was at 33%, so it did varying scales all around. That looks good, okay? And as one, fin one finishing touch, I'm gonna hit new adjustment layer here and go down to my favorite area, image radiance. I'll pull that up a little bit. Oh yeah, go to shadows. Not too much vividness, because it'd be like too like, whoa, that's ridiculous. I'll push it a little bit, okay? I'm just gonna do a little happy little sunset. I'm just gonna pop some happiness around the sunset right here in this little V that came out of it. Look at that, looking good, okay? So we can look at a uh, before, uh, which is quite noisy and kind of dull, but still pretty good. And then the after, which really has some punch and some feeling to it and gets rid of all that nasty noise.